This is Session 8, Exporting a Project. You can export multiple projects at the same time using a queue or just one project at a time. In this session, I'll show you a fast way to export your project to a high-quality master file. Chapter 10 discusses exporting in much more detail. In general, you want to export your project from Premiere Pro at the highest possible quality, then use other software like Adobe Media Encoder or Encore to transcode or convert it into the final format you need for distribution. So let me show you how to export a high quality master file and select the correct settings for the best quality output. It's done! It's a masterpiece! It's got all singing, all dancing, it's... Well, all right, it's got three shots, there's no audio, and there's no effects. But, you know, hang with me here. How do we get this incredible project out of Premiere and into that master file that I need to create all the different variations for distribution? It's easy. Make sure that your sequence is selected, and we'll go up to File, go down to Export. Now we have a number of different options, but the choice that we want is Export Media. And when you select it, it opens up the Export Settings dialog, and your heart stops because you say, holy smokes, what am I supposed to do here? Well, this is the cool part. All the settings are already correct. We just need to say, do we want to export video? Yes, it's checked. Do we want to export audio? In almost all cases, you're going to say yes, so you check it. But if you don't, in this case there's no audio, you uncheck it. I'm going to leave it checked. It's going to export this to match my sequence settings. So whatever you set the sequence to, that's what the default settings are. In this case, it's exporting DVNTSC and uncompressed audio. By default, the export settings match your sequence settings. And in general, your sequence settings are the highest quality you can get out of your project because that's what all your render files are set for. That's what all your video files are set for. Remember how we matched the video when we first created that sequence? Well, this is where it pays off because now our export settings exactly match it. So we don't have to change a thing. Make sure we want video. Make sure we want audio. If we're building a long list of files, we build it to the queue. In this case, I'm just going to click Export. It says, OK, I'm sending it out. What's it called? Right here, Output Name. It's right there. It says, My Second Edit, and it saves the file. It also saves the file in the same folder as your project. So go to your Project folder. You'll find the Output file and you're good to go. In Chapter 10, I'll show you how to change the output location and really what all those different export settings mean. For right now, it's simply enough to be able to get a high-quality master file of our edit out of Premiere. Exporting is the last phase of editing after all the editing, trimming, and effects are complete. Once you've exported your master file, you can create as many variations of it as you need for all your distribution outlets. Thanks for watching.